Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yatsi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Thursday. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez is expected to run for president in 2024. He has not announced it officially, but the mayor did file paperwork Wednesday to launch his 2024 campaign for the Republican presidential nomination. He's expected to formally announce his bid during a trip to California today. Super PACs have launched television ads about Suarez in key primary states. The expected bid comes as the mayor is facing accusations of using his influence to help a Miami developer push his real estate project forward. He and the developer deny the allegations. A local 10 exclusive police searching for two women who allegedly drugged and robbed a man in Sunny Isles Beach. Police say the man who claims to be connected to boxing champ Floyd Mayweather met the two women at Miami's club space Sunday morning. The three went back to the man's home where police say the women made the victim drinks and he became unconscious. Police say the man woke up to find his $355,000 diamond chain gone. Miami City Commissioner is approving a new voting map after a federal judge tossed out the original one for racial gerrymandering. It's a map of the revised boundary lines that Miami commissioners passed late Wednesday, but some residents in historic Overtown still feel lost in the shuffle. Others raising concerns over election interference. Miguel Angel Gabela is a candidate for District 1 seat currently held by Alex Diaz de la Portilla. But the new map passed places his home of more than 20 years in District 3, an area led by Joe Corroyo. The only opposing vote yesterday was from District 2 Commissioner Sabina Cobo. South Florida rapper accused of double murder now standing trial in Fort Lauderdale. James Demons, better known as YNW Melly, is facing two counts of first degree murder for allegedly shooting and killing two of his friends back in 2018. Wednesday, the state put firearms expert on the stand explaining to jurors some of the forensics involved here. Prosecutors say he allegedly shot and killed Chris Thomas and Anthony Williams. Then he and Cortland Henry tried covering it up by attempting to stage a drive-by shooting. If found guilty, Melly faces the death penalty. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.